This actually might tie it up. Oh, damn. That is legit. You can't even see because the light's so bright on it. What is the price again? <laughs> $33.13. Wow. What's up, guys? And welcome to another epic unboxing. My name is Talos. And today we have a epic versus. Guys, from the title, you guys know we got the Maze of Millennia returning to take on last year's Maze of Memories. Obviously, if you guys haven't checked out any of the maze, especially the maze of memories where we actually filmed that in the Red Rock, then you check out that video right over there. But this video is going to be an epic versus to see which of these maze will be the most amazing. Yes, corny, but we love it. Obviously, I have my own concerns with maze of memories, but we'll get into that as we roll into the video. So let's first talk about what's inside the maze of millennia. First and foremost is, of course, that Bonfire Collector's Rare, still holding at a crazy price at $262.72. And then the second highest being the Transaction Rollback Collector's Rare at $112.29. But the third highest is still that Bonfire Ultra Rare, even more so than the Collector's Rare of the next card after that. But $97.26 for that ultra rare bonfire. And we have yet to pull it. So today will be will be the day. Who knows? And if it does, it's probably gonna be worth at least five points. But yes, um, that is a high value for that in terms of the maze of memories. The highest value, it's only $65, and that is the Excel Synchro Stardust Dragons Collector's Rare. And of course, that $49.15 for the Baron the Fleur. And the third highest being $47.18 of the Guardian Chimera. Collectors are all collectors rare. So obviously, obviously you won the collectors rare for any of these sets. And of course, let's talk about the point system real quick for those that have not watched in previous verses. If it breaks that $1 mark, that is one point. If it breaks $5, that is two points. If it breaks $10, that is three points, $20, four points, $50, five points and of course that coveted six pointer is breaking the $100 mark can we get there we could maybe not with maze of memories but we could still break that six pointer mark in this video now without further ado let's start we have maze of millennia versus maze of memories let's do this I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Maze of Memories, obviously, because it's kind of in a disadvantage, as I talked about in the intro there. But uh, it doesn't have very, very much high value cards. I mean, the most expen expensive ultra rare is that a Cell Synchro Stardust Dragon at $33.13. And, 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 you know, Still, you know, point worthy, obviously. But, you know, it's all about, I guess, luck at this point to see who would win in this versus round. Now, similar to my other verses, we're just going to pull out half of these. I believe they come with 12 each. So I'm going to pull the left side here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 12 packs versus 12 packs. This is actually a pretty balanced because obviously it's seven cards per pack for each. So pretty balanced, pretty, pretty balanced. But yeah, I guess without further ado, let's start the first card of Maze of Memories. Now, what's funny about this set, like obviously one of my uh, my shorts coordinator, Miss South Rod, aka Tiffany, aka the best in the world, and all she does. Um, but she, every time we, she hears the word of word maze and memories, it's very King Hearts feeling, man. I totally agree. It definitely feels like King Hearts. We're just going two, two to the front here. We got the Barian Utopia. Utopia, maybe. I don't know. We have the Rika Petal. We have the Kazajin, the Red Eye Soul, a super, uh, super, oh uh, yeah, super rare of the uh, Spellbook of Faith. We'll look at that price in a moment. Looks like it might be four to the front, probably. We have the Black Wind Kaloon of the Moon Shadow, and the Chaos Form, only a rare. So super rare only, starting out kind of modest. All right, so there is a collector's rare version of this, but this super rare variant is only 28 cents. 
So no points, no points for this first round. Going to the maze of millennia now, this is actually one of the, the more, I guess, hype sets, but then again, it just came out a couple of weeks ago. So that's the one thing I was kind of worried about um, in terms of making this a competitive yet fair versus, but we're, we're, we're still comparing apples to apples in, in a sense that it is maze of versus maze of. But apart from that, there's not much difference. All right, so we went left side on the Maze of Memories. We're going right side with Maze of Millennia. And if, if there's ever a need to do a uh, rematch, we can always do the opposite side. If you guys want to see a rematch already, leave in the comments down below. One, two, three, 11, 12. Perfecto elemento. All right, here we go. Maze of Millennia. Come on, bonfire. Now, I gotta got know when it comes as well. Did, did you guys pull a bonfire? Uh, if you did, let me know. I got to know. All right, doing four. See if that, that helps out. We have the Selamadra with chains. With chains! With chains! We have the Supreme Rage. Uh, Chimera, the Flying Mystical Beast. We have Alert! And we got Canton. And the Ulta guys, Marinetter. Marinetter. Suddenly I'm. Super rare only here of the Salamadra, the Flying Flame Dragon. So only a super rare. Only a super rare. All right, number two, only 42 cents. So still zero points for both parties. So we're starting strong. We're starting modest. We're starting modest. All right, going to the Maze of Memories. Now, obviously, as I mentioned earlier in the intro, the, when I was filming Maze of Memories, I was in Red Rock with my boy Liam. Now, um, that was one of the things that we definitely wanted to do while he was here in Vegas, kind of explore the world around that I, I, I explore. And he definitely enjoyed it while, while he was here. Um, ever since like uh, he came back to the UK, he kind of like rethought about like, you know, what he wants to do with his life, you know, obviously be there with, for his mom, be there for his family. So a lot of stuff, um, you know, he's kind of taking care of business in that in that aspect. So that's, that's primarily why he's not in, in our in my videos recently. So someone had asked that question, like, Where, where's Liam? But that's pretty much what, you know, just, he's just taking care of the homebody business and all that good stuff. So he might, you know, guess, guess appear in a, in a future video here and there, or you might see an older video that we recorded like last year, or possibly a, a short that he did uh, last year as well. But um, yeah, he's, he's just taking care of his own thing, doing, you know, doing good things uh, back at home, but uh, only super rare here. But uh, he will be miss, missed, of course, but you know, obviously you gotta take, a, take, take care of number one priority, you know, your, your family. All right, this one is only 39 cents, so we're not doing anything so far with these sets, but it's okay, it's okay. There's always a chance for memories. Now back to Maze of Millennium. Um, obviously, if you guys haven't already seen my Maze of Millennium video, I did actually record a full unboxing of this set. Check out the video right over there. But um, that was a, a pretty epic set. I, I put some pretty crazy cards, and obviously those are like pre-sale prices so a lot of those prices probably depreciated so that's kind of like why we're doing this to kind of see where the, the prices fell right now we have the synchro chase the sun god unification the earthbound greater line walker we have the uh burr format the earthbound line walker the Jet Synchron, obviously what that collector's rare version. The Earthbound Servant Geo Griffin, the super rare. So still nothing super great. All right, this one right here, number 33. 57 cents, so still zero, zero. So that's the one thing that really sucks with like a lot of these collector's rare sets is the prices just are not where, where you want it to be pretty much, where you want it to be, but that, that's what that's one reason why I love opening sets, especially when it first comes out, because the, the cars are like so hyped, so priced, the price is like crazy. And um, obviously that's like the best time to sell your card. So if you ever get like a good card um, in, in, during that opening season, definitely sell it at that point. Cause that'd be like the highest point for a very long time until it kind of turns back around. It might, it might be five, six, seven years later, but eventually that price will come back around. 
but it might not be worth to wait that long. So that's something to kind of think about whenever, if you're like uh, one of those like uh, resellers. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, that's something I, I kind of want to get back into as well. I, obviously I have multiple businesses already, so there's no way I can fit a fourth business into the mix of, of like reselling my cards. But I do, I do want to go back and maybe do something like that. Cause I used to do that for, for, for a small fee and whatnot using my uh, TCG player website. But uh, we have this card right here. On your mark, get set, duel. Super rare only though. Number 16, 27 cents. So there's a collector's rare of this one as well at the $12 mark. So again, if you're not, if you're not putting the collector's rare, you're not, you're not getting your money's back for anything from these sets. All right, so let's go ahead and do the maze of millennia. Yeah, I mean, the biggest business uh, venture that I'm doing right now is obviously working with my uh, uh, consulting side of the social media, um, working with other content creators, kind of boosting up their own content and whatnot. And, um, and kind of, ooh, we pulled something. But uh, let me go ahead and pull that to the side. I don't know why they do that sometimes. I, I did for it to the front, but for some reason, the card that you really want is like on the second or third slot. But it is what it is. We have the Supreme King. I'll talk more about like the uh, the business side of the house on the next round. We have the Mirage Swordsman, the Earthbound Servant Geo, the Satellite Synchron, and of course our first Ultra Rare. Still not the Ultra we're looking for, but still an Ultra Rare nonetheless. This is the Fighting Flame Swordsman. Oh yeah. Let's see what this value is. I, I, I pulled this already once before, but I'm curious to see like where it is now. I, I think last few weeks ago, it was probably like around the $22 mark, I think. Let me see where it's at now. So definitely depreciate it at $11.17, but that is still point worthy. We're talking three points. So yes, first three pointer. First points really actually in the game, so. Uh, it's very, very strong start for a Maze of Millennia. So let's see if uh, Maze of Memory can catch up. So yeah, Maze of Memories. <laughs> Forgot what I was opening for a second. But yeah, I, like recently, I've been just focusing on like my uh, my consulting side, you know, kind of help out other content creators and all that good stuff. So because um, um, right now I'm at that point, I kinda, I'm not sure the video is out, but I did make a, a video in regards to like, you know, a lot of YouTubers retiring, like people that I've watched growing up, which is kind of crazy to think about. Growing up and you, you watch these content creators and now they're like retiring or slowing down or going behind the scenes. And ooh, what is, what's going on with this? It's like a, if you look at the text there at the top, there's like a line across it, like a, well, like a, uh, what is it called? An error card or a typo card, whatever it's called. But uh, yeah, you know, but I kind of did the same thing. I'm still doing YouTube and whatnot. But at the same time, I'm more focusing on like behind the scenes, focusing on other content creators and, uh, you know, seeing what I can do to help them out uh, versus what, it, like how to make my, my channel grow. Cause my, gro my channel's not gonna grow any faster than what I anticipate. So, but it is what it is. I, like I realized I'm just not gonna be as big as I would like to be on YouTube. So why not make other people and shine as well? So maybe they can be bigger than what I could have ever accomplished. There we go. Forty. 12 cents for this one. Not high at all. Look at who it is. We have Hunter. Yay. Yeah. yeah? You ready to record? What's that? What's that? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. That? You wanna walk around? Wanna walk around? All right, Hunter. Hi. <laughs> All right, Hunter is of course here. He woke up from his nap, and that's one of the big reasons I would say that I kind of got back into, uh, you know, more of the back end stuff of recording because, you know, I got I got to be there for my son. I don't want to, you know, too focus too much on like work and whatnot. So that's why, you know, it made sense to kind of like hire a team to kind of help me out because. It's hard, you know, this guy, he needs all the attention in the world. All the attention in the world. All right, we got the labyrinth wall. We have the court of justice. The battle royale mode joining. No, Hunter. Uh, we have the forge of the new future. You're not ready to handle these cards, Hunter. Yeah. 
Yeah, super. What, what's that? What letter is that? S. Super. We have Kazujin. Yes. Kazujin, yes. Yeah. Yes. What card is that, Hunter? We have Azel, the Zavid High oh. Protector. Super rare only, though. So this is number 52. 52. And this one is only 15 cents. Only 15 cents. So that is not much at all. It's po yeah. no, we, yeah. no, we finished that one already. We could put that away. Yeah. It's possible that I think I pulled the Maze of Memories twice. So we, we'll maybe go ahead and do Maze of Millennia twice as well. So still no points for a Maze of Memories. It's not very <laughs> memorable. <laughs> all right, here we go. We got the ring announcer. Do. do? Yeah. What do? Yeah. Reinforce. Supreme oh. King. That's, oh yes, Odd Eyes. <laughs> exactly. We have the Supreme King Gate Zero. Yeah. The Horn Sources. Yeah. Sources. Yeah. Yeah. The Earthbound Prisoner Ground Keeper. And we have the super rare, the ultimate flame swordsman, fusion. I don't think this was worth very much either. Yeah. This is number four. Yeah. Number, yeah. number four, Hunter, number four. Yeah. Decently priced, but only 47 yeah. cents. Only 47 cents. <laughs> All right, another maze of millennia. <laughs> yeah? One day you'll be opening your, your own packs, Hunter. Yeah. Here you go. Hold it. Good job. <laughs> you put it on the floor like I, I normally do. All right, we have the uh, Kyberia sword, uh, so stone. What? The fighting flame yeah. dragon. Yeah. The Selamadra fusion. Yeah. Fusion. Yeah. The earthbound yeah. immortal something yeah. I can't pronounce. Words. The Ultic Geist. The Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. And finally, the Super Rare of the Rescue Ace Hydrant. Probably not worth much at all. This is number 76. Do? What do? Wow. Wow, really? Okay, I was not expecting that. That's actually kind of insane. Super Rare. This car right here, the Hydrant. Four dollars and twenty-four cents. So it does not break the five dollar mark, but that is still one point. One. One. Do you know how to say one? I, I, I heard you say one before. No, no, don't, don't type. No typing. So right now, four to zero. Four to zero. So I don't know. This feels like a guarantee win for the millennia. A guarantee win. Now, the one thing I, I mentioned earlier, like uh, during our previous verses, like Miss um, Ephra, aka Tiffany, uh, aka the best in the world, um, she basically told me that it's kind of cheating if I was trying to do like a, um, I guess, adding additional cards as a like a handicap or whatever you want to call it. But we do pull a, ooh, this actually might tie it up, but I am going to put that to the back. Hunter! We have the Purple Duelist Extraordinaire. <laughs> we have the Black Win, the Elite. Okay, so I was talking about the, the Handicap, but that card, yeah. I probably don't need a Handicap anymore, but I'll explain why once we get to it. We have the Guardian, the Saga of the Dragon Emperor, and guys, we pulled a Ultra Rare, a very decent, great Ultra Rare. The highest price ultra rare, if I may say so myself. That is, of course, the XL Synchro Stardust Dragon. Oh, damn. That is legit. You can't even see because the light's so bright on it. But yeah, guys, what a card. What is, what is the price again? <laughs> Let me see, number 19. Ultra rare, $33. And 13 cents. Wow. So it breaks the $20 mark. Not quite the $50 mark. This is, of course, a four-pointer. Wow. 
That is insane! What? They just basically tied it up. That is insane. One card can change everything. It, it kind of reminds me of like, uh, if you ever watch like baseball guys, like even if the worst team like has the worst record, like, you know, 12 and 40, whatever the case is, like, uh, but uh, it doesn't mean that the worst team is the worst team. They, they can actually still beat the best team. It just happens to fall that way, especially in baseball. Basketball, I don't know that ever happens in basketball. Uh, it might happen in football, maybe as well. Like the worst team is not, the worst team is never ever like just the worst. And that, that kind of shows here, like this pack, I, I didn't believe it was gonna do anything, but it definitely succeeded my expectations. Wow, that four pointer was pretty insane. All right, guys, back to the millennia. We have the full armored crystallized Lancer. The Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion. The Ultageist Multi Faker. The Full Armored Black Ray Lancer. The Contain. The Ultageist Silquestious, I think. And the Super Rare Phoenix Gear Blade. So not much points there probably this card only 22 cents so no points no points all right Mazum memories hunter you're so heavy you're so heavy yeah you are you're heavy you're hurting daddy's legs here hold this we have the black wind the moon shadow the ancient fairy dragon the Nimble Angler. The Deep Dark Trap Hole. Yeah. The Dark Knight uh, Yellow Star. The Proton Orbital. And the Gate Guardian Combine. Number three, so this is 61 cents, so it does not break the one dollar mark at all. All right, maze of millennia. Still got a decent amount of packs left, so you never know. You never know, it can be turned around. All right, we have the majestic Sturs Crow Yatta, the Triangle O, the Ulta Guys Hextia. The Toad Ogama. Yeah. Ogama. Thank you. <laughs> the Poltergeist or a, a protocol. Poltergeist. We have the Emergency. And the Super Rare of the Earthbound Servant Geo Grasha. Why does it have like a little dot there? So it's, a, it's like a little like, if you look at the number there, it's like a little like, almost like someone put paint there. It's like, what the hell? All right, this one is only 47 cents. 47 cents, probably maybe even 40 cents with that freaking dot. All right, memories. That's the one thing I will say about that video that we, we did in the Red Rock. It definitely did bring like, like some decent good memories from there. So like you, you, like, you don't always record in the Red Rock. So you definitely kind of build those memories. And so there's definitely one thing I want to do as well, like, you know, with Hunter as well is uh as well as you know uh i keep saying as well but i definitely want to like do a lot of traveling you know kind of show hunter around the world ex experience the world as uh you know you know stuff that i would I, I would love to see as a kid you know like disney world or go to tokyo or something like that but definitely for kid friendly that they actually want to go to because you, you never want to like travel and they, they, they don't want to travel like you know like Going to Las Vegas, what, what are kids going to do? Actually, there's a, there's a bunch of things that kids could do nowadays in Las Vegas. But um, we already got this card and I don't think it was worth much at all. Yeah, 27 cents. But yeah, there's actually a, a, a lot more kid-friendly stuff to do in Vegas than it was in prior years. So there's a possibility of maybe one more ultra rare from both ends. But you just never know until you know. Maybe even a collector's rare. That'd be pretty awesome. Like right now we're tied. So if it does end up in a tie, then obviously we do have to pull out an extra card. That's only fair. 
um, and then we do like a sudden death type deal. I never got to a sudden death, but this might be the first. Extinguish. There's always a first for everything. Earthbound release. The Chimera. The Altergeist. The D Synchro. And the super rare of the Bubuku. So I was surprised with, with the previous super rare. So you never know, this why she might be worth some points. So this one does not have points. It's only 18 cents. All right, the memories. I'm kind of, I'm also kind of curious to see like what would uh, what, what, what would be like Hunter's earliest memory, because I, I thought about that myself. Because my earliest memory was when I was traveling with my folks. Um, my, my dad used to be a truck driver. Um, uh, when it, I think it was like I think it was Mayflower. I'm not sure if that company still exists. Um, and um, my earliest memory was basically uh, my dad was trying to drive under this uh, this bridge. Um, in a Mayflower, I, I, I like I want to say it has to be has to be like summer break. So I, I wasn't in school or anything like that, or maybe I didn't even start school yet. I was probably like four years old, maybe. So I probably didn't even start school. So he he was basically trying to drive his uh, Mayflower truck through this bridge, but he was determining if would if it was like if the if it was too low, can the truck even fit through, or will it, will it get stuck in the middle? So he actually went outside. I saw I saw, I, I remember him actually going outside like kind of measuring it out and stuff like that. And I assume we went through that bridge. I, I, I don't remember anything after that, but I assume we went through the bridge fine. Uh, this, uh, they have the Solomon judges me at number 63. But for some reason, I don't know why that memory stuck with me, but that, that has to be my earliest memory. Cause I don't, I don't really remember anything before then. There is one particular memory that I think might be true. Oh, that's just a decent price. This is $2.08. And that, my friends, is indeed a point for Maze of Memories. Bring to, to talking about the memories. And just like that, guys, Maze of Memories is winning. <laughs> That's insane. But um, yeah, there, there might be one earlier memory um, where like I was probably like somewhere in the Philippines and I was playing in the dirt. Because obviously in the Philippines, like I grew up very, very poor in the Philippines. I didn't really have anything that so that's why I, I always give a lot of props to my dad for like you know really supporting us throughout these years and um you know supporting all my crazy dreams because believe it oh, i got a good card here um believe it or not at one point I, I thought i thought about being like a dj like you know create like my own like you know techno or electronic music and stuff like that um i actually still have some music available that and i and i, I try to do like remixes here and there when i have the inspiration or the time. But apart from that, like, uh, you know, yeah, he supported through all my, all my crazy dreams. And um, yeah, like showed me the ropes to show me like, you know, how to how to run a business and, you know, you know how to uh, really think about yourself as a entrepreneur. And, and then I'll talk about more about the entrepreneur stuff later. But we have an ultra rare here. So yes, number 35. This actually might break that that lead that Maze of Memory has. Yes. All right. So this, of course, there is a, there is a collector's rare variant of this. It does not quite break the ten dollar mark, but it is nine dollars and twenty nine cents. Wow, that is insane. So that is indeed a two pointer. All right. Back to the Maze of Memories. Talking about some more memories. But yeah, um, like. Obviously, my dad, he was very big into like, you know, learning to be an entrepreneur and all that good stuff. So like one of my first entrepreneur thing was selling candy in high school. Um, it was probably, actually no, it was middle school. It was middle school. I was selling candy in middle school. And I got like, um, because I was always like, kind of upset that like, uh, ooh, a good card here. <laughs> ooh. Uh, we have Sang of the Thunder. Um, so I was, I was still okay, right? Because like, um, obviously they, we have like vending machines. We have like the, those uh, those guys that go around like uh, sell a candy for like charity. I, I can't remember what, what what exactly, what kind of charity it was. Uh, or fundraiser, I should say. It wasn't really a charity. It was more like a fundraiser. And like, they were expensive. They were like, at that time, at that time it was expensive. Right now it's like, that that's it. But at that time they were trying to sell candy for like maybe 65 cents or something like that. 
or 75 cents, sometimes even a dollar. And I was like, dude, I can sell that candy for 50 cents. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but I'll, I'll get more to that later because we have a, a crazy ultra rare right now. We have the Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid Neon Tempest yeah. Terahertz. Ooh, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> you got a uh, Pikachu. But yeah, guys, ultra rare. Again, this might break the break the uh, the lead or, or break to the lead. Number twenty eight, number twenty eight, ultra rare. Not quite five dollars, four dollars and sixty five cents. That is unfortunately only one point. That's the other part of Pikachu. Yes. So wow, guys. So we are tied six to six. I'm assuming my my, my point system is right. Editors, of course, got my back on that, but six to six are we gonna end up in a tie but yes um so i was selling candy in, in high school and like uh, like before i before I, I dropped it down to 50 cents i was like i could still make a bit of profit because um my dad he actually took me out to like uh what is it called the uh, costco and we got like these wholesale can candy and I, and I was selling those kids for like probably i don't know 55 60 cents something like that um, it was still cheaper than the vending machines. So I was like, I'm still making a profit. I'm making a, a decent profit. I'm also, uh, you know, obviously undercutting the competition. But then, um, I don't like, he was kind of a decent friend, like, uh, but he, uh, he decided to sell Kenny himself. I was like, dude, you're, you're getting in my business. And like, we, we started like, uh, having like certain areas, like I'll take care of, because uh, we, they're separated by two different lunch hours. So I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll take the first lunch hour, you take the second lunch hour. And we had, we split up like this, so that way we have our own turf. But it got to a point where he was undercutting my prices. I was like, you're selling your candy for, uh, what was it, 55 cents, whatever. So, okay, fine, if you're gonna go that route, I'm gonna sell my candy for 50 cents. Uh, so I'll, I was trying to undercut it. So like, it, it turned to like, a friendly competition but not really because we were like i don't know you know we, we both wanted to have our own like goals and whatnot um, i don't think it's worth what worth much money uh 61 cents for this card so definitely not worth anything but yeah so i was like dude you're you're, you're, you're getting into my customers you, yeah like you, you might be uh you know on your own gym but now you're like you're taking my customers so i had to fight back but i got to a point we were we were too competitive and uh, and we were we were uncutting like the, the, the school profits with their vending machines. We were uh, undercutting all the the fundraisers that were happening. So we actually got called into the principal's office and uh, basically told to shut down the operation because if it's not for the fundraisers, you cannot do this business. It was like, so you're basically telling that I can't be an entrepreneur. Is that what you're saying? And um, so I was a little bit upset about that. That the school will like like prevent you from earning money, like. I'm selling at a competitive price. I'm earning a profit, uh, and we also ex we also expand to not just uh, not just uh, candy, but also juices. So I was selling like I'll, I'll, I'll bring like two or three bags to school. Like my, I have one where, where it's like my book bag, and then I have a, a bag for candy and a, and a bag for like all my like grape juice or apple juice or whatever. And I was selling that at a <laughs> in school. It's crazy. All right, this is 54. I don't think it's worth much right here. 54, that is 27 cents. So not more, much at all. All right, guys, maze of millennia. But ever since the moment, like I, I like obviously, I, I, I love the fact that my dad like, you know, supported my entrepreneur, like, I guess mindset. And that re that's, that's how I really got like, like inter interested in like starting my own business one day. But I never got to like a, ooh. That is a good card. I'll like uh, I'll try to finish my story a little bit, but yeah, that is a good card. But you know, obviously, my dad supported me through my entrepreneur like goals and whatnot. So this is definitely like a sign that yeah, the, the fact that my, uh, my 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 dad would have, you know support my entrepreneur. This is this is the card that that really like solidified the his love for my skills. We pull. A collector's rare guys and not just any collector's rare maybe not the car that I was looking for but still a pretty damn good collector's rare the transaction rollback collector's rare oh but Jesus this will definitely solidify the win for this set 
I, I wasn't completely sure about it, but then I saw the, the the reflection on the side of the card, and it's definitely collector's rare. So I'll try to show that a little bit more, but you can kind of see that uh, kind of glimmers on the on the the border lines and stuff like that. So it's not just a super rare, but guys, but guys, all right, collector's rare. <laughs> Transaction rollback, collector's rare, $112.29. That is the coveted six pointer. And probably win, honestly. Probably the win. Wow. That is definitely going to get graded later this year for sure. Because I'm an investor. You know, I, 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 I'm, an, I'm an entrepreneur. Wow, what a great card. There's one pack left for Maze of Memories. So let's talk a little bit more about my current memories. But yes, like ever since that, that moment of like being an entrepreneur, going, going around the world, not <laughs> going around the world, go, uh, going to uh, like around, around the school and whatnot, selling candy and whatnot and, and juices, it really inspired me to start my own business. I couldn't think of what that business w was going to be. But ultimately, I decided on a few things that I was passionate about. Like, not just YouTube, because obviously I enjoy YouTube, but this is more like a, a hobby for me. I, I never considered this a, a job. Um, but it kind of turned into a job from, from the hours I put into it and all the editing and all this, the, the people, the staff. Like, obviously, I, I have a staff, I have a staff, staff of editors and a staff of like all these graphic designers. And Bell over there in the corner, um, you have. So super rare to finish it off. So does not burn any points, I don't think. Number 15. This is only eight cents, so a, a whimper for this one. But um, yeah, like I, I'm, I'm so proud of like the, my, my journey so far. And of course, I'm proud of you guys to kind of still watch me after all these years because like I, I went from different like niches, if you will, you know, gaming, vlogging, travel vlogs but yeah all, all, all these years did I, did I do four different already I, I, it doesn't matter but um yeah guys like i, I never considered this job as more of like a hobby as i mentioned but it was definitely something that like um you know i kind of grew into something that i cared about and now i have this consulting business that actually it could be a legit more legit business than, than this but they're all considered hard work being a content creator is hard work being a consultant is hard work Doing IT is hard work for my regular job. But uh, yeah, being a father is also hard work as well. But the final card here is that super rare. But I enjoy hard work. I, I, I don't like, I don't, I don't try to avoid it because the hard work does indeed do pay off. As cliche as that sounds, 57 cents for this one. As cliche as that sounds, hard work does eventually pay off. Because we pulled a transaction rollback collector's rare. But yeah, guys, that pretty much concludes this unboxing. Let's, let's look at that collector's rare one more time. Oh man, this definitely set the deal, but it was already kind of in a tie. So it was only a matter of time before something was pulled. And we still got more cards in the other side. If you guys want to see a rematch, of Maze of Memories and Maze of Millennia. Let me know in the comments down below. And this, this is what it's all about, guys. You know, kind of like uh, continuing the journey, not through me, but through my son, Hunter. I don't know what, he's, what he wants to do when he grows up. I don't know if he wants to be an actor, movie star. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you want to be a content creator as well, a YouTuber? Yeah, you want to start a business? You just want to be lazy and sit, sit on the couch all day. Regardless of what my son wants to do in the future, I guess we'll know five, 10 years, 15 years down the road. Maybe we'll ask him again, like when he's older and able to talk. What do you want to be when you grew up? And um, so I guess mark, mark your calendar. Uh, we'll find out when, you know, when, when he's ready to talk. Maybe he wants to be, I don't know, a dancer. I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you guys like, any of your memories and your stories in the comments down below as well. I'm curious to see like your journey thus far. But yeah, guys, that pretty much concludes. Uh, thank you guys so much for the view and so much for the attention and the love and all that, all the support thus far in this channel as well as all my other channels. And of course, supporting my other content creators, the people that I support in my consulting business. But again, enough rambling, enough story time. Love you guys and I'll definitely see you next time. My name is Talos. This is my baby boy, Hunter. And we'll definitely see you next time. Peace.